What's going on guys? Today we are making a sneaky favorite dessert of mine. This is a cinnamon ricotta cake and ricotta is never something I would want in my dessert until Matt made this and fed it to me and I'm in love. I'm gonna show you how to make it and we'll just talk about desserts in general because this is a really easy recipe and we love desserts so let's have a conversation. First, let's get the butter melted. We have one stick of butter, eight tablespoons. We're gonna melt this in the microwave. And to offset the really hot butter, I'm gonna just pour in the erythritol and give that a quick mix because then the eggs will not cook. And we're also gonna add one cup of ricotta cheese. So that's about 250 grams of ricotta. So let's just add in the remaining ingredients and then all you really have to do is mix. And so that's what makes this so easy. Everything just goes in a bowl and then goes in the oven and it's a beautiful, delicious cake. Now we're gonna add four eggs. And if I was gonna make a dessert for myself at home, maybe like meal prep a dessert, this is the kind of recipe I would make. Really simple. It uses minimal like good ingredients and it's not overly sweet, which is what I like. I don't want anything too, too delicious like cookies or brownies where I can't control myself. This is like the perfect combination of dessert and also like even just a morning piece of cake you eat with coffee and you feel really good about. Now we'll add our vanilla extract, one teaspoon. And then we are gonna do just under half a teaspoon of liquid stevia. So that's three eighths of a teaspoon or 30 drops. And then we're gonna give it a mix before we add the remaining ingredients. Now once it's uniform in texture, we're gonna add half a cup of coconut flour, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and to change it up for the fall season, you could even do pumpkin pie spice. And then we're gonna do half a tablespoon of baking powder. So that's perfect. And that's the texture you're looking for. Somewhat loose, but still like pretty firm. So we are going to put this into, what, what kind of pan did you use? All right, so we have an eight inch springform pan here. This comes in handy all the time when we're trying to make desserts and cakes. So we highly recommend you get one. So we're gonna grease the springform pan with some coconut oil spray. Sometimes I like to use a paper towel and just make sure I hit all the spots. You don't want stickage. And now just pour the batter into the pan. So the batter consistency definitely firmed up as it sat. So it's not gonna like pour in. You're definitely gonna wanna mold it to the pan. And if you can't tell, this is gonna be a pretty thick cake. So if you want a thinner version, then you can use a bigger springform pan, but I like a nice, thick, dense cake. This Ma will be better though. Now I used the different one. No, I mean, I don't know, we might have to bake it longer. We do. Gosh dang it, I knew you did. I shouldn't have asked. Most women are lucky. They can just like make the man stay out of the kitchen, but I am forced to allow Matt in and this is what happens. That'll be perfect because it's hard to get like a really dense, moist um, cake on a keto diet. So that's what we're going for. So I have my oven preheating to 325 and we're gonna bake this for about 50 minutes. Less time if you use a bigger pan, the thicker it is, the longer it'll be in the oven, that's more likely. So we'll check on it at 40, but it's likely gonna be 50. Another great idea I just thought of is putting nuts in this bad boy, cause that would be super delicious. But this is tree nut free. So we're gonna pop this in the oven and then we'll be back in 45 to 50 minutes to see where it's at. All right guys, it's out of the oven, just pulled it out. It was in for a total of 60 minutes because like I mentioned, we used a smaller springform pan, so it's thicker, it needs longer in the oven. If you used a bigger springform pan, you need less time. So this browned a little on top, not a big deal because the inside is gonna be delicious. I'm really impatient, so I'm gonna try and open this. Come on, oh, there it goes. Looks perfect. And it feels really dense and moist inside still, which is a good sign. So I'm gonna cut out a slice and show you what this looks like. It's definitely still too hot to handle. Probably a better utensil. Oh, baby. Look at that. So cooked all the way through, piping hot. 
This, honestly, I'd probably just eat it on its own straight out of the fridge because that's the kind of savage I am. But a cream cheese frosting would be delicious. Even just a simple buttercream frosting. You could throw some cinnamon into the frosting. You could do a glaze. You could go really any route you want with this. And I think it'll work great. Um, after it's cooled completely, slice it in half and like spread some cream cheese or cream cheese frosting in the middle. And then you'll have like a double layer cake. That's what I love making recipes like this. It's a really simple base to turn it into any creation you want. Let's try it. Mm. That is a super moist cake. That is delicious. It's, I don't know, it's like almost creamy and crumbly at the same time, dense. And that's the kind of cake I like to eat. I hate angel food cake. If you like angel food cake, uh, shame on you. That's a terrible choice. Jazz it up, add in some nuts, have your kids help. They can make the frosting. You can lick their fingers. Do you lick kids' fingers? Is that okay? Yeah, right? So go ahead and do that. Um, Matt, you like angel food? What do you eat? Why would you ever eat something that's like light and fluffy when you can have something dense and decadent? Well, angel food cake's perfect for chocolate fondues. I'd never done a fondue that's like dessert. I've only done like cheese fondue. I'm, I'm soft and I'm also dense. I'm, I'm a combo. But uh, make this cake. You won't regret it. Serve it to your family with like morning coffee on like Sunday. This is a perfect brunch cake alongside eggs and, and bacon and all that good stuff. So hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you again.